All right, everyone. Well, welcome back to the Gladden House Sessions. Everybody still having a great day? Yeah. Great. As I mentioned before, you're more than welcome to come up as close as you want to the edge of the porch here. Just keep the camera lanes open. Um, I'm Josh Antonuccio. I'm the producer and host of the Gladden House. This stage is a collaboration between WOEB Public Media, the Nelson Music Festival, and the Ohio University School of Media Arts and Studies. Uh, we've had a tremendous lineup so far uh, for this festival. Um, we have Eric Johnson of the Fruit Bats com coming back here at 6.15, and then we've got another great lineup tomorrow. All of these sessions will be made available on WOEB.org throughout June and July, and you can also catch the last two seasons um, from 2014 and 2015 as well. It is with great pleasure that we welcome Chris Forsyth to the Gladden House today. Thank you. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. You literally just got here from how long have you guys been driving? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> I think I heard from you from Indianapolis like yeah, a little I, bit ago and you're like, I think I'll, I'll be there. Yeah. So We made it. We drove yeah. from Chicago today. Yeah, so you guys have been on tour. How long have you guys been on tour for? Uh, about a week and a half. Um, we've been touring with Hair and Oblivion who are also playing this evening. Yeah, yeah they're great. So, um, so talk a little bit about the band you've got now, which kind of came up around the Solar Motel album 2013. Um, yeah, how did you get yeah, guys so, all connect? Uh, well, I had been mostly playing solo, and then I, uh, I, made an, I made an album called Solar Motel with a band, kind of a pickup band, people that I knew and that I played with for a while. Which is a totally brilliant album. Any other thanks, fans thanks. of that album out there? <laughs> yeah. And, um, but that was kind of, and then it took a year for the record to come out, and then when it came out, like some people thought that, and yeah. all of a sudden there were some gigs I had to play, so I had to put together a band. Uh, so that's why the band is called the Solar Motel Band. It's, and it's it's evolved almost yearly since then. The, uh, I'm I'm starting to realize that the, the only way to run a rock band in uh, 2016 is to run it like a jazz band. <laughs> like so now I've got like I'm like two guys deep at each position. So yeah, who yeah. can make the gig? You know, and they're all great. So yeah. So you guys are into your third album together. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And you just had a double album. Talk yep. a little bit about that. Sure. Um, this record, The Rarity of Experience, uh, came out on the No Quarter label in, in March. Um, it's kind of a big, sprawling thing. Uh, half of it is like the live set that we were playing last year, and then the other half of it is we went into the studio with and decided to take a little more time and just sort of experiment and see if some things worked out. And they did. So that's what happened. And where'd you guys record? Who produced with you guys? Well, I produced it. I always the, the, the majority of the recording is always done with... Um, our guy Jeff Ziegler in Philadelphia, he's worked with tons of great people uh, who've probably played here too. Kurt Vile, Warren Drugs, uh, Steve Gunn, um, all, you know, kind of Philly people. And um, so we recorded basic tracks with him, but I did some recording up in New York for the horns, went out to Kansas City and recorded the keyboard player out there. So it was kind of, it took many months and was kind of all over the place. But yeah, the, the, the tracking and the mixing was done in Philly. Yeah, yeah. So the idea of the double album, and by the way, you've been getting great uh, reviews. People have been super excited about the record. What was the idea behind making it such a sprawling, expansive song set? Well, uh, a sort of a challenge. Like we had just made the the re previous record is called Intensity Ghost, and that was like a real, pretty like short, sharp by our standards anyway. Uh, made it really fast, and. Um, as I said, we had a whole set of new material that we were playing live, but I didn't want to just go back in and make another record that was sort of treading water creatively. So, yeah, we just wanted to kind of blow it out a little bit. And, you know, I mean, I like, we tend to be pretty, we like to spread out. We play the songs, get pretty pretty long. And, uh, you know, I, a lot of my favorite records are double records, you know, Exile on Main Street, Zen Arcade, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. All great. Yeah. Well, on that note, let's get some music. Okay. Please welcome Chris Forsyth.
Chris, thank you so much. Thanks for coming out. We will be back here again uh, at 6.15 with Eric D. Johnson of Fruit Bats. Thanks so much.